Bowser, we, ha we start with general art. All of us teach general art. There are five art teachers here. Well, that's the most of any Toledo Public School. And then we go from there into more specialized courses, 2D design, 3D design, and then we have drawing one and drawing two and painting one and painting two and ceramics one and two. We're trying to add sculpture, fibers. Uh, we have printmaking and photography. I think that's it at the moment. <laughs> We've met once a month as a feeder pattern, all the elementaries and all, uh, all of the elementary art, all the elementary music had separate meetings because this is elementary and high school art and music. We all met separately once a month um, for about three or four months. I think we started in November, December. Um, planning this, putting it together, measuring out our space, how did we want to hang it. We knew it was going to happen fast this morning. How could we get it up quick? And so it's been several months of planning. I would say at Bowser, we've been pretty lucky. The kids coming into the art department and taking our classes seem to be pretty into it, historically. Um, we, we show a lot of kids in the regional art shows. They, a lot of kids get into the regional shows, and so we've been lucky. We've had a lot of good student participation in our art department here at Bowser. So that's what's nice to teach here. Yeah, what's, what, what the thrust is with a lot of our art programming is creative problem solving. So it's, it's, it's not really an art project, it's an art problem to solve. And there can be so many different multitude of ways to solve the problem. That's the beauty of the art class, is not that necessarily everyone's going to grow up to be Picasso, but can trigger that part of their brain that can solve a problem. What if, the what if factor, what if we do this, what if we do that? To be able to do, think for themselves instead of just simply being told what to do. How about we try this? That's the thinkers of tomorrow. And it, it comes from, I believe, the arts. I hear often, I can't believe my kid did that. How did, how did, you, how did you get my kid to do that? They, I have never seen this before. And that's, you know, they had an art teacher. That's how they've, they've had that happen. But the, to see the moms and dads come in and be amazed at the, their eyes are just, how did this happen? You know, that's, it, it gives us a purpose. It, it showcases, like, this is why we have the, the fine arts in your child's curriculum. I'm just amazed at the varying age ranges and then all the teachers that are able to go and uh, pull all of this talent out of all these young people. It's just absolutely amazing. It's better than last year's. Did you know that your son had this kind of talent before? Before last year, no. No, before last year we didn't. So that's a credit to our teachers here, Mrs. Selvig especially, pulling that out of him. He's, he's got a couple of... Um, choices what he wants to do for college. I'm just really excited to see what he does and where he goes with it. How did you I love it. The cat. How does it feel to see your art up there on the wall for everybody to see? Pretty cool, right? The reason the arts are important in Toledo Public Schools or any school is because there is a certain population of students who that is what they excel at. That is where their gift is. And if they don't have the arts, they have no reason to come to school. They're learning everything in their classroom, but how does it come together? It comes together in the arts. You're able to show what you've learned in math when you're creating your piece. You can put science ideas into your art. You can find how paints work and how clay works, and it's all scientific, and we learn about that. We also look at our history and our social studies and how people have been creating art forever and bringing their life together through culture. So the arts are what holds all culture together. How can you have life without art?